In this video, we're going to look at how to open a new instance of Excel. You're going to learn how to open a new workbook and how to open templates. And you're also going to learn how to save your workbook. So to open a new instance of Excel, if you click your start button, you should find an icon for Excel. Alternatively, if you type in the search bar, your icon should appear here and once you click on it you will open up a new version of excel now when you open up a new version of excel you will be in this screen and what this will give you is your recent documents and then some templates that are available from here we can open up a blank workbook or we can go in and search for other files by opening up other files or we can open a new worksheet now when you click new, you will get the option to pick from all of the different templates that are available, or you can pick a blank workbook. The templates come in very, very handy, and there's a lot of templates already designed and developed here for your use. You can, have, you can pick and filter these down by these particular suggested searches, or you can type in your own word for example let's say we wanted to look for an invoice it will go and it will search all the online templates for invoices to open any of these if you click on it you will get a preview and a little bit of details and then to open one of these you select create you can do this for any of the templates and to clear all these templates we can just click back to all and in this case, we are going to open a blank workbook. So now we have a blank workbook open in front of us. Now, let's say we were in an existing workbook, a blank one or an existing file. You can always open up new files in Excel when you have one open. To do this, select file and from file, we can select open and open will allow us navigate through our computer so we'll see our recent ones our recent workbooks our re recent folders or we can browse our computer to open up other uh, excel files now if we select new in here we can open up another blank workbook or again we can work through the templates and look for the templates and open a second blank workbook now when you have a workbook open you will see the name of the workbook up here and this was the second blank workbook that I opened. We'll see if I click down here that I have two instances open. I've got book one and I have book two. If I press these little buttons up here, I can make them smaller and I can make them bigger. You can also close them or we can completely minimize them. To save a workbook, we click on File. We can then click Save or Save As. Now, to use Save, the file has to be already saved with an existing file name. In this case, we've never saved this file before. So when it's a first time save, or if you wish to save the file as a copy of an existing file, you select Save As. We can then browse through our computer and let's just put this on our desktop and I'm going to name this first workbook. And once you put your file name in there, you can select save. Now the save type, most of the time you're going to use Excel workbook. You can save a file as a PDF. If you're using macros, you would save it as a macro enabled workbook, but these are more advanced features. So make sure for the moment you save your file type as an Excel workbook and press save. So we've now saved that as our first workbook. Now, if I close that file and I go back into Excel and I go to file and I go to open, this will come up in our recently used Alternatively, you can browse through your computer and I will go to my desktop and we'll see the first workbook has been saved in there. So that is how you open a new instance of Excel. It's how you open a new workbook or you select a template and it's how you save a workbook in Excel. 